Hello everyone, my name is Ishioma Ifi and I'm 17 years old. And first of all, I'd like to thank Think Africa for inviting me here today and giving me this opportunity. So I'd like to share a few words about culture today. Cultural differences should not separate us, but rather cultural diversity brings collective strength that can strengthen all of humanity. These are words by a director named Robert Allen, who was one of the first to incorporate an African-American uh, protagonist in films in Hollywood. And I would like all of you to pay attention to the words that can benefit all of humanity. So cultural diversity can do this. And I think what he means here is he's implying that we have the potential to benefit all of humanity with cultural diversity, but it hasn't been fully harnessed yet. And in order for us to harness it, change has to be made. And this change starts from within us. So just as culture exists within us, so does the potential for change. And I know that culture is something deeply ingrained in all of us here today, I would assume, as we are all here. And it manifests itself through us in different ways. And especially for those of us who also hold a culture foreign to the one, to the uh, Finnish one or predominant one here, we might find ourselves standing out or feeling like we stand out. I'm sure many of you today have perhaps struggled with finding your place in this society or establishing exactly how you fit into it. And I've, I've felt this myself. And these are things that we encounter as individuals in this society. But I think the solution to this, to this feeling or this dilemma is not to uh, change yourself at the expense of your of losing your culture. I think that the solution is to be true to yourself and in this way you can atta attract like-minded people and in this way, this is the only true way in, you can, in which you can belong, really. And This, this feeling of being lost or having, having one culture and existing in another shouldn't confuse us. Instead, our cultures are something that we should embrace and be thankful for as they play such a significant role in, in who we are. And for this reason, rejecting your culture can be synonymous with rejecting yourself. So we should really be thankful for, for them. So in order to belong or feel like you belong, you should be true to yourself. I believe that the best way to enable partnerships, growth, and increased connectivity between Afro-Finns, Africans, and Finns, the solution for this lies within culture. And the solution is being open and forthcoming to other people's cultures and also to sharing your own. This is the solution because above all else, culture is something that is meant to be shared because it can't even exist if it's only in one person alone. And I know that this can be or seem like a difficult task for many people around the world as we still see polarization and a lot of division. But I've come to learn throughout my life that however different any two cultures may seem, they are all similar in the way that they each always have some good qualities to them. And as a person of mixed heritage, I have had the privilege of being exposed and brought up by two cultures. And I see this as a richness. One of my parents is Nigerian and one is Finnish. And even on the surface level, these two cultures seem polar opposite, or like polar opposites. In one, the inhabitants live in Africa and it's seen as a, 
a warm place where there's very expressive people and the other is stereotypically cold, dark and the people are more reserved. But this, this may make it seem like having these two uh, cultures coexist, that they would be in conflict within myself. However, this isn't the case. Being mixed is something I've come to appreciate more and more as I've grown up, as I've been exposed to two entirely different cultures and been able to adopt the best parts of both of them. So it has, in fact, been a richness. And it has also enabled me to see things from a wider perspective as compared to if I would have been sheltered by only one culture, in my opinion. And I see it as an advantage. But this advantage is not only exclusive to people who have mixed heritage. In fact, it's applicable to everyone. When, when we move to places, perhaps many of you have moved here or your parents have moved here and we migrate, we adopt ways of life and mannerisms and habits from the people around us. And we also share parts of ourselves with the people we meet and thus we share a bit or a piece of our culture with them. So in this way you could theoretically say that we are all mixed. We're mixed with different cultural and ethnic experiences which make us more intelligent and enable us, enable us to learn by learning from each other and enable us to grow. So if you imagine a world in which cultures can collide and you can take the best aspects of both of them and combine them to create something unique, well, imagination is not even necessary for this because this is the world that we live in today. And this is an advantage that we all have the ability to use. And there are, there are consequences of this in all different areas of life and structures, not only in relationships or, or um, maybe cuisine, but also in business. So I believe that sharing culture is the key to our increased development together as society and individuals because it ensures that we all fit in because every culture becomes acknowledged and appreciated. And I'd like to end by urging everyone here to be open-minded to seek out opportunities to mingle with people from other cultures, to be grateful for what your culture has offered you, and to be encouraged to share these positive aspects of your culture with other people. Because that is how I believe that we can grow, not only as individuals or communities, but as Alan said, as humanity together. Thank you.